Wow. Ray, I'm not going to say your last name because you might get mad when you hear this and try to sue me. But this is this this is really for you, Ray. And I know you're listening to me because you listen to me all the time. And you and I had a real heated discussion about whether this country could put us back in chains if they chose to and how we would respond to that particular action. And um, I said it was very possible. I said actually it was some people that that's living on the fringes probably wish they could go back into slavery. And if the states uh, some of them living so rough out here, they'll do anything for two hots in a cop. So if the states would <laughs> implement slavery all over again, some of these folks will be lined up to get their free meal. That's how bad this society has made it on the sons and the daughters of the slave. I mean, honestly. And so it's not funny, Ray, but I chose this just for you because it's real important that you hear this, that five states have slavery on the ballot in the midterms. That's Alabama, Louisiana, Oregon, Tennessee, and Vermont. Okay? And they will address the 13th Amendment that, follow, that allows involuntary servitude in prison. The 13th Amendment outlaws slavery except as punishment for a crime. There are roughly 800,000 incarcerated people who are forced to work. Only Rhode Island, Colorado, Utah, Nebraska have explicit anti-force prison rules, with Rhode Island passing in 1842. Okay, I want y'all to hear this now. Especially you, Ray. Alabama voters' ballot measures goes a step further and could ban all racist language from the southern state's constitution. Louisiana is a little murkier, though. Prohibiting the use of involuntary servitude except as it applies to the otherwise lawful administration of criminal justice. How you like that? No, 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 no. Listen. Voters in five states will decide whether to choose a loophole in the Constitution allowing for slavery as a criminal punishment in this year's November midterm election. Involuntary servitude was made morally illegal by the 13th Amendment in 1865, except for people who are serving out criminal sentences. The slavery loophole <clears throat> has been a central focus in prison reform and mass incarceration activists for them. I'm sorry. On November 8th, residents of Alabama, Louisiana, Oregon, Tennessee, and Vermont will vote on ballot measures in their respective states to cl close that loophole. Vermont was the first state to ban slavery when it was a practice outlawed in 1777. But a state's constitution has an exception for people abound by law for the payment of debts, damages, fines, costs, or the like. It is one of 20 states with such clauses. Colorado, Utah, Nebraska passed similar ballot measures in 2018. And five other states, New Jersey, California, Texas, Florida, and Ohio, are gearing up for such a vote as well. Rhode Island is the only state to have banned forced labor as punishment for a crime when it was written into the state constitution in 1842. So, each of the five ballot initiatives in its November ballot could, cost, could see the prison loophole closed in those states. In Louisiana, however, Louisiana is a hard state. The outcome will be a little murkier. Its ballot initiative prohibits the use of involuntary servitude, except as it applies to other world, 
otherwise lawful administration of criminal justice. Hmm. Republican Louisiana State Representative Alan Seaboff told PEW Research that he believes the measure technically allows slavery and will have little impact on state law. It is essentially just symbolic. It says what's already on the books, although potentially worse, Seaboff told an outlet. Alabamians Alabamans will go a step further, however, and vote on whether to remove all racist language from their constitution. Closing the prison loophole in the 13th Amendment would be a massive victory for today's civil rights movement. Last year, Democrat Senator Jeff Merkley of Oregon and Democratic House Representative Neek Ma. Williams of Georgia introduced a constitutional amendment that would have outlawed incarcerated slave labor on the federal level. The loophole in our Constitution's ban on slavery not only allows slavery to continue, but launched an era of discrimination and mass incarceration that continues to this day, Merkley said at the time. Out of roughly 1.2 million people in the federal and state prisons, Approximately 800,000 are forced to work for as little as 50 cents per hour, and in some cases, for nothing at all. Data comes from a June 2022 report by the American Civil Liberties Union. The forced labor forms an industry worth at least $11 billion according to this report. These are the people that uh, Brett Favre was like, uh, uh, let's use them. It's 11 billion in the kitty. Okay, Ray, I thought I'd scare you for a minute. But that was a very interesting article. And it's interesting to see how the people of uh, these states are going to vote. Okay. These are the referendums on forced labor prisons, labor in prisons. Okay? So, the modern day people in 2022 have an opportunity to make a decision on this, on these slavery laws, actually, is what, what they call um, slavery, uh, what do you call it? Uh, slavery Im impressions. Okay? So, definitely slavery is on the ballot. In Alabama, Louisiana, Oregon, Louisiana, Oregon, Tennessee, and Vermont. And let's see how y'all gonna do. Okay, if you like what you hear, subscribe, share the channel, and I'm gonna see you in the next video.